What's going on boys? Welcome back for another video on the channel. Now today's video is going to be a QA. and a I did put on my Instagram. Uh, what did I put on my Instagram? I forgot. Oh, I'm going to be doing a QA and a on YouTube. Uh, leave me some questions and um, a lot of people left me questions So thank you to the per people that left me more than one question as well I got more than one question of quite a few people so uh, thank you for that and thank you so much for a hundred subscribers We got a hundred subscribers in a week or just a bit more than a week That that's that's mental. I'd never thought I'd get to hundred subscribers. That's that's just mental It's literally mental but I have got quite a few questions to go for. Well, I won't say quite a few. I've got about 15, 10 to 15 questions, I think, which is, this is all right for one video, I guess. So let's just jump straight in to the questions, and I hope you do enjoy. First question is from Matt Quince 15 What is the favourite mod you've done to your car? I would possibly say Wheels of Rap. I let you boys decide that actually because personally I love my wheels and I absolutely love the wrap. I'm not gonna lie, obviously it's not a full wrap. I just call it a wrap. I love the graphics on the car. Personally, I'm leaning more towards the graphics than the wheels. Like I love the wheels. The wheels make the car look so much better. But the graphics is so good. Shout out to you, Simon, mate. I love you. The graphics do look awesome. I'm not gonna lie. It makes it look like it should do, it should have like 300 brake and it's got about 75. <laughs> it, I'm, not, I'm not even lying, like the car's, it's not slow, like it, do, it, it does me what I need to do in it, you know what I mean? Um, I don't go around racing everyone thinking I've got the fastest car in the world because it's definitely not fast. It, it just does what it needs to do for me, you know what I mean? Like obviously in the future... Obviously, carrying on with YouTube and stuff, I'll uh, probably go for like a VXR or a F VXR, uh, Astro VXR, Corsa VXR, one of them. Uh, probably be an Astro J VXR if I did get an Astro though, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, let's have the wheels of the wrap. Now, the next question is from Adam. What's the best thing about having a car? Um, Adam, we we all know you're about that bike life, mate. We all know you're about that bike life. Um, best thing about owning a car, doing mods to it really, and just keeping it clean. That's probably one of the best one of the best things for me. Like, don't get me wrong, I do like going fast gradually. For any of you haters out there, it's because hey, you've got a thirty pound rear car. It's not gonna go anywhere. I know it's not gonna go anywhere, but. Building up speed is pretty fun. <laughs> it is pretty fun when it gets there. Uh, I'd, I'd just probably say doing mods to the car and keeping it clean, more than likely. Like, it's good meeting up with your... Also, meeting up with your mates and having a chat and whatnot. But then again, you're just wasting fuel driving around like a knob. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd probably just say doing mods to the car, Adam. That's probably... That's, that's, mm, that's basically all I'd say. About, best thing about owning a car. And obviously, it's better than uh, better than getting the bus, and better than standing around and walking around in the cold. So, I'll see. It is what it is. Another question is: What's your dream car? No, that's a hard one. I've got plenty. Give me something reasonable. Um, I'd probably say an R thirty four GTR Skyline, or I'd go with a GT eighty six Toyota, or obviously that's. Super BRZ or an FRS, basically the same car anyway. But they're probably the cars I'd go for because, oh, mate, don't even get me started. They look so good. They look so good. They're quick. Well, the uh, GT86 is, what is it, 2 litre turbo, 201 brakes. So it's, it's quicker than I've got anyway. And the Skyline is, jeez. That's got some freaking power if you do some mods to it, I think. I think it's got a uh, sick power standard. I don't even know what they run standard. If you do know, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're some of the cars I absolutely love, man. Honestly, I absolutely freaking love them. Oh, Right, let's move on to the next question. The next question is... What's your favourite make of car, JDM, German? Ah, right. 
basically, I've had a German car before, uh, and it was shit. My experience with German cars is not good. It's not good whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to tell you the story to it. Basically, uh, I got some HIDs for the A1, Audi A1, what I had. Uh, didn't read up on them before buying them. And anyway, I put it in. Oh, put it in. Jesus Christ, I'm like I'm fucking shagging a woman. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I'm going to get a rinse for that. Um... Basically, I put the HIDs in, uh, obviously the ballast and everything else, cut all the head back of the headlight caps, all that sort of jazz. Anyway, went back out the night we we uh, put the headlights in. Anyway, unlocked the car and the indicator stayed on. I was like, what the fucking hell's going on here? So I was like, why is this indicator staying on? So I was bashing the headlight trying to get, to get the indicator to turn off. Didn't want to turn off whatsoever. So I was like, for fuck's sake, man, what the hell's going on here? Anyway, read up on it, and it said something about a body control module. Oh, here we go. Oh, it won't be that dear. It won't be that dear. Cost me fucking 1000 some pounds for fucking get the fucking, fuck, fucking, fucking, fucking car fixed. Jesus Christ. Oh, it was a nightmare. I swear to God, it was a nightmare. It cost a lot of money to get repaired. I got a new body control module from a garage around near me, I didn't exactly go to Audi first because that would have cost me a f even more of a fortune. Uh, basically, I got a new body control module, put it in the car, took the old one out, and basically it fixed the indicator problem, but then we had the problem of the car not locking or unlocking, and the, something wrong with the radio, the radio wouldn't come on. So I thought, great, another problem. So I went back, after picking the car up, after it not locking, I, had to, I could lock it manually, like, basically, I could put the key in the driver's door, turn it at a lock, and then I have to open the passenger door, and on the back of the passenger door, there's, like, a plastic grommet, which you take out, and you put the key in and lock the door that way, and then shut it, and then it's locked. It was a pain in the ass to keep doing it, man, but it, obviously, it worked. And, um, went back to the garage a couple of days later. Absolute arrogant prick. I wouldn't recommend that garage to no one. Um, it was like, oh, I was just about to go. Uh, you said you was round the corner. I said, well, yeah, it's called traffic, mate. So you fucking anger out for a punch you in the face. Uh, basically, he's like, oh, it won't call this, that, and the other. It's not the right... Um, basically, with Audis, I think they give you, like, a code on the car key in, like, a plastic cover. He said, oh, you need that. It's called, called uh, the key into the car, uh, into the control module. So I was like, right, okay, I brought that. And he said, oh, no, it's not. It's wrong, this, that, and the other. So eventually... Uh, I think it was me and my mum what took it to Audi, and then it come out with loads of faults then, like airbag light was on, the ABS light was on, so I just thought, do you know what, fuck this, sell the fucking thing, uh, and then I got the Corsa, which, that Corsa, man, it's giving me no problems whatsoever, no problem, where's wood? Ooh, we're touching some wood, I need to knock the camera over, that's why I grabbed it, <laughs> we're touching some wood, it's giving me no problems, it runs Oh, it runs so good, like so smooth. Starts up every time. Can't compl I can't complain, man. The car is amazing, and it gets some shit as well. <laughs> it does get some shit. Uh, but yeah, that's about it with my uh, experience with German cars. Uh, obviously, we've got as well. We've got JDM. No. Again, R thirty four. Uh, and a, a GT86, uh, Subarus, Evos and all that. I absolutely love a Japanese car, man. But obviously, I, at this moment in time, I can't really afford one because of the insurance. I, I can afford to pay for one. It's just the insurance, basically. Uh, so that, that That's the only thing what's corrupting me at the moment is the insurance because I'm, I'm, I'm not even 21 yet. I'm 21 in, like, next week. I hope that hasn't just made the phone vibrate. And my phone is charging. Ah! Uh, but yeah, basically, that's just the thing. It's just the insurance. So uh, as soon as I turn 21 next week, I will uh, I'll see what they are. And then obviously in like two years or a year time, I'll, I'll buy something else. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to sell the course. Hopefully, I can keep the course as like a daily type car, which I think will be pretty sick. But yeah, that's it for the um, JDM German, whatever other cars you want to name and whatnot. But... We'll move on to the next question. 
Right, boys, I'm sorry for changing location. It's a bit more lighter in here. Um, it's just because I've got my phone charger in here, so that's why I'm in this room. Uh, but basically, our next question is from Tom Pennington. It says, who and what inspired your rap and design? Right. Uh, basically, no one really, ins mm, I wouldn't say inspired. I'd, I'd, I'd probably just say Simon from Image. If you haven't checked his uh, first proper video out, I'm going to link that down in the description. Or I'll put it in the iCards at top, man. That guy. He was born to do this. He was freaking born to do this. I'm telling you. He absolutely smashed it on Sunday. Absolutely smashed it. Right, going off topic. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably just say Simon. Simon just said, right, I think your car would look pretty sick with something on it. And I was like, yeah, it probably would, you know. And I was thinking about it for a while. I just thought to myself, right, Jack, do something about this, mate, because if you don't, you're going to end up regretting it. Because it does, without a wrap, it just looks like any other Corsa, and I was just like, it's not a bad thing, but i got something in my eye. I just like switching things up a bit and putting my own little twist on things, so that's probably why and who inspired me to do the wrap, basically. Uh, yeah. Next question, let's go. Best pick Pickup owner in Wigan. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, you madman. You are a madman. Uh, obviously, it's you, mate. Your, your truck is one of the best trucks I've seen. If you, listen, boys, right? If you haven't seen this truck around, like, the Wigan area, I'm going to put a picture on screen. Wow. This truck is insane, man. It's an absolute beast. It's got, like, a full-on straight pipe. It sounds mental. And it's got like a big light bar on it and stuff. It, it, oh, it's just an insane truck. It's an absolutely insane truck. I've been in it, and that was with the clutch slipping, and it was pretty quick at that as well. I don't know whether it's had, had a new clutch or not yet. But, Elliot, you are the uh, best truck, pickup truck owner in Wigan as of yet. Right, next question. Again. Are you going to PVS this year? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely going to be getting to PVS. I didn't go last year, if you guys are unfamiliar with PVS. I think it's called Performance Vauxhall Show, even though my car has got no performance. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I will be going to that. I didn't go to that last year, unfortunately. I didn't. I was actually, uh, I think I was working on in the morning, I think. And I, I couldn't really get down there. Like, I really, I should have booked, like, three days off. So I could get, go down on the night and then spend two days there. But I didn't do that. I'm probably going to do it this year. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to be pretty sick this year. I'm probably going to end up convoying down. So if you have got a Corsa, E, or D, or any other Vauxhall, let me know. We can convoy down together. I think that'll be a pretty, pretty sick idea. If you could do any mod to the Corsa, money irrelevant, what would it be? Ooh. Um... Probably stick a new engine in it. Probably stick a VXR engine in it. I'm not going to lie. That's probably one of the best mods I'd do if money wasn't an option. You know what I mean? If money, Obviously, money's an option, so it's it, it's kind of hard for me to like go out and just go, oh, I'll have that VXR engine. Bang. Buy it. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard. But if money wasn't an option, I'd definitely be going for a VXR engine. If money wasn't an option, what car would you buy and why? Uh... That's a good question. That's a good question. I'll probably just go for the R34. <laughs> if, there's, if there's no money involved in it, then it's gonna it's got to be the R34, but I'd have to find the right one. Like me, I'm an OCD person when it comes to a clean car. Inside. Can't have any bits stuck in the carpet. Um, dash and everything's got to be mint. Like No dints, no scrapes. The steering wheel's got to have nowhere on it. I'm so OCD. It's unreal. But it'd probably more than likely be an R34. I don't know. R34 GT86, one of them. What's the best part about driving and why? Uh, I like a double chin then. Uh, uh, best part about driving and why? I don't know. Best part about driving. Personally, I like driving on my own. Like I love having people in the car. But when I'm driving on my own, I'll just like it a lot more. Which is because I can play my music. I can, I can have a sing song really. 
the fuck is that? I can have a sing song and I can just enjoy myself. Like, have a bit of a cruise, put your foot down even though it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, just give it a bit more than usual, really, when I'm on my own. Uh, and obviously, I sing my heart out to uh, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Um, but yeah, that's probably the best thing about it, mate. That's probably the best thing about it. Twin Turbo UK, are you going to Culture Shock in June? Do you know what? I might do. I need to start attending more shows. Like, everyone's saying, you've got a nice car, I know it might not be fast, which it's not. I know for a fact it's not fast. So if anybody says in the comments, oh, you think your car's fast, I don't at all. Honestly. It's really not fast. I just love the way it drives and I just love the way it sounds. I know it sounds like an absolute fart box, but that's the way I like it, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I need to start going to more shows this year. And uh, I'm definitely, definitely up for it. I'm definitely up for going to some more shows. I need to do a bit more mods for the car first though, and then obviously, I think it'll be show ready. I think so. I hope so anyway. How have you paid for your car? Is it on finance or is it straight up cash? Right, I'm just going to be brutally honest here. It's on finance. You know what I mean? Like, not everybody's made of money or not everybody saves money as good as other people. I'm not going to lie about my car, what I do, or anything like that. It's on finance. I'm not going to lie. It is on finance. But what you've, what, what you've got to... I give props to people who buy cars outright. And I also give even more, more respect to people who buy cars on finance because... With finance, you can get some serious shit, you know. Serious, serious shit. Like, if you miss a payment, or you don't pay it at all, them motherfuckers are coming for your ass. You know what I mean? Alright, debt collector, go kick his fucking head in or whatnot. But, nah, it, it is on finance, I'm not gonna lie. But, hopefully one day I'll be rich enough to buy a car out, right, yeah? I could probably buy a car out if it was like a grand or 500 quid, yeah, fair enough. But... Nah, it's on finance. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. What other YouTubers would you like to collaborate with? Um, the Savage Garage, definitely. I'd love to. I'd love. I'd love to collab with that guy. He could show me a few things. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He could show me a few things. Uh, Jesse's coming up, obviously. I, I, oh man, Jesse's such a cool guy. He's like, honestly, he's such a cool guy. Um, who else is this? I watch loads of people. I honestly watch so many people. Jamie FYD is one of them. I'd love to collab with Jamie FYD. Uh, would I like to collaborate with Mr. Lockwood? Uh, yeah. Lee's alright, to be fair. He's so in lad. Uh, yeah. Lee Lockwood... Jesse, Jamie FYD, obviously them two don't get on, so that's going to be a bit awkward. Um, ben Powell as well. If you don't know who Ben Powell is, I'll link his channel in the description. He's a new YouTuber like me. He's just recently hit 200 subs, so congrats to you, mate. Uh, I'd love to do a video on his car. His car sounds mental. His car's straight piped, like mine, but oh, it's so much louder. I don't know why. It's mental. It sounds insane. So uh, yeah, I'd I'd love I'd love to collaborate with a lot of YouTubers. People are interrupting me. Uh, yeah, I'd love to collaborate with a lot of YouTubers. I'm not gonna lie. Next question is, what's your job? Oh god, <laughs> you wiggle. <girl. laughs> no, basically I'm a car valeter. I have mentioned it in my previous video. I think it's my first video I put on this channel. I think it was. Uh, basically I'm a car valeter. Um, obviously just maintaining cars, washing them, oovering them here and there, but I fully detail the car inside and out, uh, when it comes to, um, obviously when it comes to selling a car, uh, there's also a question on here as well, um, what's the best car you've cleaned, like the nicest car, basically I clean a lot of nice cars, like I get some Fiesta STs, Focus STs, VXRs, but basically, one of the best ones was today, actually. I cleaned it today, and it was a Bentley. I forgot what make it is. I'll put a picture on screen. It's an absolutely lovely car. It is a lovely, lovely car. 
Um, obviously, I clean that at work. I, I clean most cars at work, like, obviously, because it's my job. But um, I also do some, like, for people outside. I'm still waiting on Jesse to get back to me so I can clean this car. I'd love to clean that car. Give it some TLC. Uh, but, yeah, that's my, that's my job. It's not the best job in the world, but it pays the bills. It does what it needs to do, and it buys mods, obviously, for, for the channel. And uh, it gives you guys more videos, really. Next question is, would you do a review on an MX-5? Harvey, mate, you already know I'm going to do that review on the MX-5. Basically, right. My old job, I had a very good friend called Harvey. He has a Mazda MX-5. Well, he had a red one and then bought another green one and, like, merged them in. Like, restored the whole car. Uh, sprayed it Nardo Grey and did loads of different bits to it. And it looks insane, man. It looks insane, but I'm definitely down to get that on the channel. Uh, do a review on that. And, oh, honestly, boys, it's so good. You'd, I think you'd love it. I think you'd absolutely love it. I'd love an MX-5 like that, though, to, like, as a project car. If you guys have got any ideas for in the future, like a project car, let me know in the comments, please. I'd love to have a project car. Hey, this is why I hate recording on my phone, because everything just pops down and everything pops up. It's annoying. Um... But yeah, I'd, I'd love to do a review on an MX-5. Definitely! Last but not least, the final question. Would you do any reviews on different cars? Forward slash courses. If that just means courses, then yeah. But I've got a few reviews coming to the channel. Uh, a few vids coming for you boys. I've got a, I think, don't quote me on this. I think it's right. It might even be more. I think is a 450 brake Mazda 3 MPS. Uh, Cliff Skulls. Cliff Skulls. What a guy. What a guy. He's actually got his own YouTube channel as well. I'll link that down in the description. Such a cool guy, mate. Such a cool guy. And his car. Woo. He's fucking rapid. It's a 450 brake, I think. Uh, meth injected. It's got so much done to it. Obviously, when I review the car, I'll tell you all about that. Uh, I've got Jesse's VXR. Uh, do you know what? My brother, Dan, if you are watching this, I want to review your ST properly. Give me the keys, boy. Give me the keys. I'd love to review that ST, man. So quick. Uh, so yeah, Jesse's VXR, Cliff's Mazda, my brother's ST. Uh, oh, I've got a Mini as well. Uh... A young lady messaged me on Instagram. I wanted to say young. She's probably older than me. I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, she messaged me on Instagram and said, what, what I like to review a Mini. Now, yeah, I'm dope. Listen, boys, if you want me to review your car, even though, you know what, it's going to be faster than mine anyway. You want me to review your car and obviously make a video out of it, uh, spend a few t bit of time with you guys, I'm definitely down for that. Definitely. So if you want... You want me to review your car? Let me know in the comments. I'm definitely down to review anybody's car. I know this video hasn't really been the best because it's like the the camera, the quality's crap, man. The quality's horrible. I hate the camera on on this phone. It's supposed to be one of the best as well, but nah. I can't wait to get my camera on Friday so I can record better videos for you guys. Basically. It's really cold, it's really windy, and it's really rainy, so I was going to do a mod list today, but I can't, I can't, physically, because there's no car parks properly, I keep getting interrupted by people driving past with, like, load cars, or people walking up to me or whatnot, so, um, there's just, it's, it's too crap at the moment, and I want to get the car right before I do a mod list, I want to get all the mods on it before I do the mod list on the car, oh yeah, Big boy Jack's Bocking Egra as well. I've got, I've got to review that. That is such a smart car. And hopefully, I can review a few more people's cars as well. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This little, like, I, I was going to say little QA. It's probably going to be quite long, to be fair. It is probably going to be quite long. All right, boys. Uh, that's the end of the video now. So uh, I really do hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, my details for my Instagram and everything, it was on screen earlier in the video, but it will be in the description, so make sure you're checking that out. That would be much appreciated if you drop us a follow or drop you one back. No no problem, no no danger, no danger. But hope, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.